What a great day to be on Roblox Studio. And look at my beautiful new house. Nothing to disturb me. Oh. What the hell is that? Oh my god, oh my god, please help me. No, please help me, please. Oh no. Guys, guys, I think I'm safe. I think evil Dev Melon's gotten away. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel. And in, and in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to make an enemy NPC in I Roblox Studio, which you can use for many different games. And guys, quick reminder, if you do have any problems, make sure to comment them down below or join my Discord server where I can help you out personally. But yeah, uh, without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, guys, so the first thing we need to actually make this enemy NPC is the NPC itself. So a quick way of making this is we can go into Avatar. We have Rig Builder here, which is already built in. And we just click on r15 and block avatar and there we go we have a we have a little rig here with the animate already so we can animate it and many more things so so guys to actually make this rig work and chase us over here on our rig we click on the plus and create a script and i'm just gonna call this chase script and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete this because we don't need that we're gonna do local npc is equal to script.parent and then that's just gonna call our that's just gonna call our npc then we're gonna do local humanoid root part is equal to npc dot humanoid root part and this is going to be important for the actual script then we're going to do local max distance is equal to math dot huge and local debounce is equal to false and this is just going to make a cooldown for the attack after that we're going to do npc dot humanoid dot touched colon connect function hit and this is just going to check if we touch the hu uh, if we touch the npc and it will allow it and it will and it will and it will allow it to and it will allow it to damage us when we touch it then we're going to do if hit dot parent pull on find first child humanoid then and this is just going to check if it's actually a player and we're also going to do and not debounce this is going to check if we don't have a cooldown we're going to do debounce is equal to true and then we're going to do hit dot parent dot humanoid dot health minus equals 20 and this is going to just damage us by 20. Then we're going to wait one, and then we're going to set debounce to false, uh, giving us a one second cooldown so that the so that the rig doesn't kill us instantly and it, it, it hits us by 20 damage every second. Now we're going to do while wait do local players is equal to game.players colon get players. Then we're going to do local closest and, and we're going to leave this blank for now. Then we're going to do for i, comma, player, in pairs, players, do. And this is just going to run through the players. And then we're going to do if player.character and player.character and, uh, and player.character colon find first child humanoid and player.character.humanoid.health is larger than zero then and this will check if there's a player and it also checks if the player is not dead so then we'll do local player humanoid root part is equal to player.character.humanoid root part and then we do local distance is equal to humanoid root part of the npc dot position minus player humanoid root part dot position and then dot magnitude if closest is equal equal to false then and it will check if if uh the value closest is equal to false then we do closest is equal to humanoid root part is equal to player humanoid root part then we do if humanoid root part dot position minus closest dot position dot magnitude is larger than distance then closest is equal to player humanoid root part and basically this will check uh the closest humanoid root part to the dummy and which one it will follow so after that all we have to do is is we do if closest and humanoid root part dot position minus closest dot position dot magnitude is smaller or equal to max distance max distance then npc dot npc dot humanoid colon move to closest dot position then then we're gonna do npc dot humanoid colon move to closest dot position and basically that's how you do it so now if we play we'll see that our dummy will start following us and damaging us too and we actually get a error here 
and we actually got an error and the way to fix it is instead of writing here is equal equal to false i should have did i should have done if not closest and that's going to make it follow so now if we try this out we'll be able to see that our rig is following us and is also attacking us and it kills us but one thing is this rig isn't animated and it's quite strange because it's just a it's just a a, a sliding rig that's following me which is quite scary but that's not what we were exactly looking for so in order to fix that all we have to do is grab this animate we're gonna create a new script normal script call it animate delete this copy everything from here and paste it in here and then we can just delete this script here basically what we did is we made our local script a, a, a server script and that's actually gonna let our um, dummy be animated when he chases us so as we can see we're running away and our dummy is chasing us just like we wanted it to so we can see that it's running after us and it's actually standing on my head right now but of course what we can do here is we can go to our humanoid here and change our, his walk speed to something like eight which is going to make us able to be to, to run away from him so we can see here that he's quite slow but he is chasing us so yeah guys thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed and that is how you make a working enemy npc in roblox studio that chases you just like that <laughs> in roblox studio and if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to like and subscribe because it does really support the channel and if you guys have any problems make sure to comment them down below or join my discord server where i can help you out personally but yeah guys anyways thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video